Firstly, the science of the NAFS training is 100% um, a response from Allah to a dua that I made. And at the time, I, of course, didn't know that it's going to be in the form of this program. But once I joined the program, once I knew what it was about, it was a no-brainer. So before I joined the program, I was just loving my life, I guess. I had no real plan for my life. I didn't think that I was succeeding in the things that I was going after. I didn't think I achieved the thing things that I thought I would have achieved at that stage already. And so I was really, I would say, restless, lost, living my life, but not, um, something was missing. And I kept searching, I kept searching. Because I knew something was missing, I kept searching for it. And But I didn't know what I was searching for. In fact, I didn't know anything, which will explain all the restlessness and the scatterbrain that was happening. So... In any case, I got to the signs of the nafs. Um, and what then happened was when I joined the program and I found out what it was, signs of the self, it was so apt. It just fitted perfectly what was going on. Because at that stage, in my mind, I was not living the life that I wanted to live. Um I felt like I seriously admitted to myself that I have an identity crisis in terms of my Muslim identity. And even though I was practicing, it was nowhere near the level that it could have been and should have been. And there was inconsistencies. There was definitely heedlessness. There was definitely rebellion. There was definitely poor choices, bad decisions, mistakes, whatever you want to call them. It was all a mishmash of some good, some heedlessness. So just haphazard, not great. And of course, when you live like that, you will feel restless. You will feel unsettled. Um, but my outlook on life was always keep pushing, keep persevering, keep trying. And um, that's what kept me going, right? But when we're really honest with ourselves and we sit down and we admit that this isn't working, that's when we actually have that breakthrough. So... Alhamdulillah, I got to one of the live sessions from Ustad Abdul Shahid. I attended. I was super impressed with it. I emailed him. He emailed me back. And then fast forward, I joined the program. So I joined the program. I have no idea what this is about. But I do know that this is a dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered. Right? Because I actually wrote to Allah about it. And then, but I still didn't know. So when I joined, I still didn't know that this was it. So I joined there were a couple of things that I was, I had no expectations. I just knew that, that I was really impressed by this and this is that something that I want to do and I'm going to do it. And because I was already in that habit of trying new things and, and searching and searching and searching. And then I think the very first thing that blew me away was one of the statements that Abdul Shahid made when he said that a big problem people have is they, the relationship with Allah. The, there's a disconnect with Allah for whatever reason. And he said it in such a non-judgmental way, and I paid attention. And he said that once you know who Allah is, you will know who you are. And for me, that was the perfect timing because I was now in this identity crisis situation. And then so many things I started becoming aware of, and what I realized is the restlessness and the not knowing was Basically, a lack of self-awareness, lack of planning, lack of reflection, lack of slowing down and, and figuring out my life, um, and definitely disconnect, disconnect from Quran, disconnect from um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it didn't matter that there was a, some relationship, and what I mean by that is there was um, scatter, so practicing, but sometimes not. Not wearing hijab, sometimes wearing hijab, mostly not wearing hijab. And hijab is not just the head scarf. I mean the whole even behavior, everything that goes with it, right? So that was it. And then I joined the program and very soon, like, I remember six months into the program, I was like, this needs to be a part of my life. Like slowly, I was just getting results. Not really even slowly, like things that I never thought I'd be able to change, I changed. So 
the number one thing was like time management. Like I sucked at time. Like I, I labeled myself a late comer. Other people labeled me a late comer. And um, alhamdulillah, there are people now that only know me as a punctual person. So I, there were so many things I, didn't, I identified that I wasn't even aware of. And I can definitely say that I was lost. I was lost before the program. And I only really discovered um, many things about myself on the program. And were those things like everything? So the good things, the bad things, um, the strengths, the weaknesses, as they say, all of that came out. And at some point, I remember I was, I felt like I want to pull back, like I want to resist. And I don't want to do this because like, what else am I going to find that's going to be nasty and mean? But so I was enjoying it so much. And there were more things that were clear for me. And I just knew that I wanted. And of course, I had that backing that I made this dua. And this is always response to my dua. And so I just continued and went through the program, trained as a coach. At six months into it. I had already changed in so many ways, like just in terms of my approach with my work, in terms of the way I communicated in my marriage, in terms of um, my relationship with my children and how much further I could take that. Um, And I think just with other people, maybe I took more of a chilled approach. Um, And so like, in every area, like I was starting to see changes. So there were subtle, like there were subtle changes, but they were still there. And a lot of those changes were like unbelievable for me. Like I literally thought like at some point, like you keep trying and you keep searching, what are you looking for? Just give it up already. And um, you suck at time management and what are you doing? And so there was a lot of negative self-talk, but it wasn't, um, but because I was balancing it out with positive energy, I kind of got away with it, but I didn't get away with it. And so I went through the program, trained as a coach. And as I went through, the, the more the more I was going through the program, like the more excited I started becoming and the, the more I wanted to know. And I was learning so much. I was sharing with everybody, like, people were literally asking me like, who's this guy you're listening to all the time? Because I would literally like in my car, break times at work, lunch times, like every moment that I got, I was listening to the lectures, listening to the podcast, watching the videos, reading the emails. I was like full on, full on. Because for the first time, I found something that I was loving for such a long time. And for me, it's not, doesn't take a lot to get excited about a new project. I love learning. I love a new project, but a lot of it just faded away. And very quickly, those things didn't give me that sense of fulfillment. But this was different. I knew this was different because I was really months into this thing. And I was still loving it. But I was loving it more and more and more and more. And so finally, I went on and I trained as a coach. I remember having that conversation. We um, sat up to show asked me if I want to train as a coach. And I was like, duh, of course I want to train as a coach. And at that stage, what he didn't realize was that everything that he said to me, like to me and in the classes, everything came to passing. And I was just like ticking, 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 check, 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 check. And um, when he said, you're going you're gonna to love it and you're going to be an amazing coach, I was like, I believe you. I believe you. And so I did it. And subhanAllah, it's the best decision I've ever made. It's the scariest, the best decision I've ever made because Doing inner work and reflecting means like your whole life's going to change. You already know that. And you almost want to hold on to that, like what you know. You almost don't want to, you're afraid of the change. But even through the program, I actually learned how brave I am, how bold I am, how courageous I am, and actually how confident I am. And even though I did on some level think I already have those qualities and traits, I definitely, it was like mild levels. And now through the program, Alhamdulillah, I've managed to up it. But the main thing for me is just being able to reconnect to Quran again, just being able to feel um, moved and feel content when I recite again, just going through the tafsirs and understanding the words and applying it into my life and seeing the results. That all for me is just 
such a blessing, alhamdulillah. And I wouldn't want to change a thing about it. And there were days when it was hard and there were days where I didn't even realize that I had like negativity to that extent. But of course, when I looked at the results, it would make sense that that it was coming from from that negative mindset, which I managed to quickly overcome, subhanAllah. And now today, alhamdulillah, I'm a coach and I love the impact I have and it's everything I wanted. And I think I always wanted to work with people like in service, be engaged with people, but make an impact, make a difference, Um, you know, like leave something behind. But where I was looking for it was in all the wrong places, obviously. And what I've learned is that when we look for solutions in our life, we need to look for it where Allah says it is. And it's in the Quran and the Sunnah. And that's what I got from this program. Alhamdulillah. Literally, I can say, like, honestly, it saved my life. It saved my heart. It saved my soul. It allowed me to discover who I am. It allowed me to be me um, and not think twice about it and be proud of who I am and go for what I want and be a planner and be somebody who's in control of her time and not a latecomer and um, now help other people with the things that the very things that I struggle with, giving them the tools, empowering them just like I became empowered and um yeah now i'm just loving it don't want to change it for anything in the world just want to keep going just want to keep making a difference and really just show up as my best because i do think like i made like a complete 360 like before and after it's like um what do they say caterpillar to butterfly it's literally like that caterpillar crawling crawling on the ground making slow progress probably even getting stuck sometimes and then butterfly earning your wings and flying so literally for me when i hear that like from caterpillar to butterfly it's not it's a real live life experience alhamdulillah so definitely enjoyed it and still continuing to enjoy it because what's amazing about this program is you keep learning and the more you learn the more you want to learn the more you enjoy it the more fun you have the more the light bulb goes on um the more clarity you have the more you start managing your emotions um, the more you start visualizing this amazing future, the better you are in relationships, in how you respond to treatment from other people. And really just, again, being um, connected to Allah and feeling that khushu in my salah. And when I recite, feeling that Allah is close and Allah is near and feeling those moments where my heart's going to burst, where I can't handle it, but I can handle it and I want to handle it. And so just an amazing journey, subhanAllah. I think it's what I viewed as an opportunity. And yes, the dua that Allah answered is a necessity. Like it's like it's like oxygen. You we must have this program. We must go through this process. We must learn these tools. It's so simple, but it makes such a huge difference in your life, definitely in my life. And it's actually allowed me to walk my talk. I don't think anything has ever gotten me to that point. There was wobbles and all of that, but this allows me to walk my talk and it makes me want to do that. And um, I think I always pictured myself like as in, I actually do want to be a leader. And what I realized is I am, but the, the, the cool thing about it is that I'm a leader of myself. And I think that's probably the best lead that you can take. Because from there, you can obviously take on other leadership roles. You can show up as the best in every other situation. So it's like you take care of yourself. You manage your affairs. You manage yourself. You lead you. And subhanAllah, Allah will just keep opening the doors, keep opening the doors, keep opening the roads. And that's what I've experienced. And like for me, I cannot see my life without this I cannot I cannot I don't want that and I just love it and it's amazing and that's it that's it that is my journey